And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. A temperature just above 30 degrees. That's the average temperature so far this month, making it the ninth warmest December on record. You probably have noticed it with the lack of snowfall and above average conditions, but it does appear we'll be getting to more seasonable values as we get into the rest of the month and into the beginning of the new year. A beautiful sunrise this morning, but then you see this low level cloud deck that rolled right in here. However, the overcast skies were only short term because as you could tell the sun does peak out later on in the afternoon 20 degrees now still feeling chilly with a wind chill at 9 uh, degrees because of the wind out of the west at 10 miles per hour we've got upper teens and lower 20s all across our area we'll see temperatures drop down about another five to seven degrees for our overnight lows but the wind chills are making you feel like negative four in anago four above in watoma nine in oshkosh and appleton and 10 degrees from surgeon bay down to Kiwani and also in a Kanto. Some cloudiness and also a little bit of light snowfall on the other side of the lake. As for us, we've been dry today with the exception of a couple of stray flurries, but we got an area of high pressure right now over the central part of the country. That's going to slide off to the east. And then we're watching these couple of clipper systems that'll be swinging here as we get into Sunday. So as for tonight into tomorrow, starting off pretty quiet, we'll have mostly clear or partly cloudy skies. Then as we get into the afternoon, high level cirrus clouds will start to build in here, but we don't see any thick cloud cover until we get into Sunday morning. And with that, we will see some snowfall. It looks like a light a bit of accumulation is expected with this band of snowfall. Here we are at six o'clock in the evening hours. The snow will exit out of here by Sunday night. So for folks who are going to be watching the Packers game, probably going to have a little bit of a white Lambeau field and a taste of more of that winter spirit. Here's a snowfall accumulation according to our Skycast model. About one to three inches of snowfall, certainly expected. And there could certainly also be a few locations that get just a little bit less or a little bit more. Now, another storm that we'll be monitoring here, this is kind of a talk that uh, even some of the folks on my social media accounts have been asking, what's the whole deal with Next System on Wednesday? Well, it looks like a powerful area of low pressure is going to be developing somewhere along California, then move across the Rockies, and then start to turn up to the northeast. Now, what's interesting about this storm system is that along and north of the warm front, there could be a band of some pretty heavy snowfall that brings several inches of snow across northeast Wisconsin. But some of the general trends right now is showing that this low pressure, as it gets closer into our area, it turns over the snow into rainfall. So then we'll start to melt some of that. The best chance of seeing all snowfall out of the system is north and west right now but of course we've got five days ahead before the storm does arrive so things can change and we'll have to monitor that for the latest data 16 overnight low wind out of the west 10 to 15 miles per hour partly cloudy to mostly clear skies we get up to 30 degrees tomorrow with winds out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour we're up into the lower 30s for your Sunday, then down into the lower 20s on Monday, and then we start to climb things back up as we get towards Wednesday with that potential winter storm by New Year's Day 23 with partly cloudy skies. Thanks, Gino. Still to